Reaction of organic compounds. As organic compounds is large number, so it is classified to two types. One is open chain aliphatic or acyclic carbon. Second is called as closed or cyclic carbon. Again, open chain is divided into two parts: saturated and unsaturated. Saturated is also called as paraffins or alkanes C to S two. This is the general formula of alkanes C and S two and plus two. And unsaturated, they are the olefins. They are the less, uh, more reactive compounds. So alkenes for formula is C and H two N. It is uh, symbolized uh, written as suffix E N E in alkyne. It has the symbol is Y N E dash Y N U and the general form by C N two N minus two. So if you take N equal to one uh, for this one, so we will see here. Uh, this is becomes methane. N equal to put this general formula C two S six like the N equal to C three H eight like N equal to four C four H ten and S five six seven eight. So there are so many names given here. So if one is there, it's called as methane, ethane, propane, butane, four butane, five pentane, six hexane, seven pentane, eight octane, nine nonane, ten decane. Similarly for alkenes. Uh, it starts from the C2. So here again, it is called as ethene. Here suffix ene is the suffix ethene. Instead of a, we are writing here ene. So this is your C3 means prop, four means but, five means pen. These are the word root for the main carbon. Word root, word root means those carbon which is uh, those atoms. This number of atoms is the pen. For five carbon, it is called called as pen. For six carbon, it is called as hex. Seven, it is called as hex. Eight, ox octene. C9 non non in C10 uh, so decin ene because this is a unsaturated hydrocarbon with double bond alkyne similarly C2 S2 using this formula n equal to 2 and uh, 2 into 2 4 minus 2 C2 H2 this is ethane similarly C3 H4 propyne C4 S6 butyne C5 H8 pentyne C6 H8 H10 hexyne then C7 H12 uh, heptyne C8 octyne H14 octyne C9 Uh, H16 and no 9 C10 H18 decay. So this is the belong to open chain aliphatic or acyclic carbons. Now we will see the closed chain. Closed chain is again divided into two parts. One is called as homocyclic and second is called as heterocyclic. Again homocyclic is two types. One is alicyclic and second is your aromatic. So again homocyclic, alicyclic, aromatic. Alicyclic is two types: saturated and unsaturated. So here I am writing in bond line notation. So this is a three carbon. So this is three carbon, one carbon, two carbon, three carbon. So here we are using prefix called as cyclopropane. This is cyclo, three carb, cyclopropane. Cyclobutane, four carbon is there. One, two, three, four. Similarly here five carbon. One, two, three, four, five. Cyclopentane. This is cyclohexane. Similarly, but this is a one single bond is present here. If you are putting any single bond, double bond. So this becomes your unsaturated, but alicyclic. Why alicyclic? Because each member contains carbon. Here each member, each member is carbon. Okay. So again, the answer is they have double bonds. Similarly, aromatic. Aromatic means they are uh, six membered, six membered ring, or they are aromatic. So aromatic we will define later. Aromatic means they are having some aromatic smell. So this we will learn more thing in detail. But here we will see only small things like uh, what are the different classification under this aromatic carbons. If the member is only six member, if it is only six member, so then this is called as benzenoids. So benzenoids here, naphthalene we can see here, anthracene here. Some more examples six member here, three six member, one two three four five six six, six and six. This is called as anthracene. This is called as toluene. This is called phenol. Again, aromatic, but it is not. It should not be six membered, but single and double bond. Alternate single and double bond. So here, non-benzenoid. So here also alternate single bond, double bond. Here also alternate single double bond. So one single bond, double bond, single bond, but it is not a six membered. So you can see here one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Here, if you count it, here one, two, three. Four and five. This five member ring. This seven member ring. This is not six member ring. So this is called as benzenoids. Benzenoids. So another name is called azulene. This is again you can see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is eight and single bond followed by double bond. Double bond, single bond, double bond, single. Bond. So this is a non benzene because this is not a six member ring. So if uh, this is uh, uh, this is all these are homocyclic. Homocyclic means each member contains only carbon in a ring. So this is. Uh, this is a classification of homocyclic. So we will see heterocyclic in next topic. So next topic heterocyclic is.
I am bringing here. So this is the heterocyclic topics. So in this topic, we can see uh, here it is again divided into two parts: alicyclic and aromatic. So again, alicyclic means uh, they are. Uh, so again, we say they they have single member chains, and heterocyclic means other than carbon, other than carbon. At least, at least, at least one hetero atom, one hetero atom, and hetero atom it can be uh, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, whatever can be. So if any any other atom like nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus, this is called LC, it is called a heterocyclic chain. So here we have two types. So you can see if I put one oxygen is called oxidant. If you put in four member one to three form the three carbon this is called oxytane. This is called as THF oxalon one to four carbon but the ring is penta like cyclopentane. Age of cyclohexane one two three four but here is one hetero atom here two hetero atom here one hetero atom but member is one two three four five so one at least one member is hetero atom hetero atom hetero atom hetero atom hetero atom hetero atom other atoms. In our matrix, same thing. So this should be six member, and this should be, uh, but it should be single bond and followed by double bond. Single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. Like this is member six members should be there. So this is example of pyrimidine. Again six members, but here is one hetero atom, one hetero atom. This is benzenoid example. For non benzenoid, so again they have not six member ring, but it should be single bond and double bond. Single bond, double bond, single bond, double bond. So this is called non benzenoid. But example is furan. This is called sulfur. Is there thiophene here? Uh, nitrogen. This is called as pyrrole. There are some special type of unsaturated aliphatic carbons. This is this is called as some different names. You can see here. So one is your called as cumulin chain, cumulative chain. So cumulative chain means they have continuous double bond. So CS2 double bond, C double bond, CS2. This, this is name as aline. We can write in four, in, uh, in four carbon, five carbon, but also be double bond. We can write it. In conjugated chains, single bond and double bonds are in alternative order. Means so one is a double bond, single bond, or first is single bond or double bond. Anything you can write it. So CH2 double bond, CH single bond, CH double bond, CH then single. Like this is alternative. So double bond, single bond, double bond, single. These are alternative orders. Third is your isolated diene. Means a single bond, double bond, not a alternative or not a continuous. So here. Diene is two double bonds, so we can see example of here. C S T single bond, double bond, single single double bond. So this is not an alternative order, or this is not a single. This is two double bonds. Single bond, uh, double bonds are not alternative order, and double bonds are not continuous. So here we can see example of one more C S T double bond. So single bond, single bond, single bond, double bond, single bond, single. Bond. So there are three double bonds present in this. Thing. This is also unsaturated, unsaturated aliphatic, uh, aliphatic carbons, or the example of special types. Now we will see next. Uh, next is that uh, what is the meaning of homologous series? So homologous series means it is a series of structurally similar compounds having same or same or uh, one particular characteristic group. This characteristic group is called as functional group. So in the uh, increasing number of carbon, if you increase the number of carbon atoms, so uh, it has the similar. Uh, they have the similar. Uh, they will have a similar structurally similar compounds with one particular characteristic group. It's called a homologous series. So this can be found in alkene, alkene, alkanoes, etc. So right, let's learn this definition. What is the property of this homologous series? So means they have any two successive members of the homologous uh, series by CH2 group. So they are differed by the CH2 groups in their molecular formula and their molecular Molecular weights. Molecular weight means 14. So one is carbon is 12 and two hydrogen. So this is a 14 mg. These two C is differentiated by CH2 groups. All the members again, all the members can be prepared by a number of general methods. So you can prepare by a, any number of methods. In methods that are general. These members have many similar chemical properties. So their chemical property is similar, but physical property is not similar. See here, physical properties of the members show a regular gradation with increasing molecular weight. So if the molecular weight will increase, then they have regular increasing physical properties. You pack name for all homologous have same ending as. A N E in alkene. So homologous series they have same ending. A N for alkene, A N E for alkenes, O L for alkanos. We we'll see examples will understand. So in alkenes we can see here. Here I have given examples. So in alkenes C H four. If you add C H two, C H two is fourteen. So it becomes first members after adding it becomes C two S six C H two. 
okay this is the second member so if you add again ch2 it become third member c3 h8 c3 h8 again if you add ch2 this becomes fourth member c4 h8 c5 so in this way we can increase the series so this is the uh, homologous series of alkene this is the homologous series similarly we can see the homologous series of alkene so c2 h4 is the first member if you add ch2 group here so it becomes c3 h6 again if you add here ch2 so again it will become c4 h8 again if you add ch2 it becomes ch5 so this is the fourth member this the uh, fifth member so in this way you can draw any members of the homologous series so here i have given and draw the formula for first five members of each homologous series beginning with the following compound so here compound is this formic acid and this is a acetone ch3 co ch3 so how we can write the five members so here we can see uh, formic acid if you add ch2 so it become acetic acid again if you add ch2 it becomes ch3 ch2 c double o h again if you add ch2 it becomes two compounds ch2 added so it becomes again another compound if you add one more it becomes ches3 again ches2 whole thrice ches3 this is the fifth member of the formic acid similarly you can see in the case of acetones acetone if you add ches2 becomes uh, ches3 co co and ches2 added here again if you are second this is your uh, second member this is the second third member this is your fourth member and this is your fifth member so in this way we can write the any member of the homologous series of any compound